Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Maddles and this is game number two of a best of three it is between a Protoss and a Terran and it is most surely going to be fantastic. Game one was pretty action packed, back and forth between both but who will be victorious? Can we see a leveled out series or we, will we get a two? Oh, we'll find out but first let me introduce these two players. Down in the bottom right position we have got the blue Protoss player. It is White Ra. And his opponent, up in the top left, the Red Terran from Team Complexity, the STC. Now, these two, really they battled it out pretty valiantly in game number one. There was some pretty epic battles, there was nice little timing windows from both, and just the STC managed to come out on top, and it was all down to one big drop into the main base really. That is what allowed him to win. That massive drop forced Wide Ryan to an all inning position where economically they were pretty similar, tech wise they were pretty similar. But after you've lost one of your only two bases, well, you've got to go and try and end the game there. Otherwise, it's all over. But this game, what can we be expecting out of these two? Well, currently, one gate, one racks, no gas as of yet for the STC. But as I say it, a gas gets thrown down. That's usually a, a pretty good sign that. You're going to be getting some kind of Reaper action. A Reaper did come out in the first game for the SCC. Didn't actually do much damage though because Y1 managed to hold it off quite nicely. But one thing the SCC did do was get down an engineering bay exceptionally early. And that engineering bay was a right pain for White Rock because it got uh, just 99% completed. And then you've got to whittle it down, delaying the natural nexus significantly. And all in all, it's just a bit of a pain. But White Rock, he's got his gas coming down. Everything looking pretty solid on his side. We've got. The barracks is about to finish up, the first Reaper should be coming out momentarily. And then, as it stands, these builds looking pretty similar to game one for both these two players. Which, obviously, if it's if it works, why not? But actually, STC is not going to be going for the Reaper. Instead, he's just going straight up to get a reactor on that barracks. Meaning he's going to be able to pump out more Marines if he wants to. He could also go Marine and a Reaper if he wanted to out of that. But we'll wait to see exactly what he's got planned. No sign of the command center yeah, but he has up to 200 minerals, so that should be going down any second now. The first minerals will probably get cooled down momentarily, and that's all looking good, and yeah, I really want to see this command center kind of in the next in the next 30 seconds or so, just by the amount of banked up minerals. Good pylon placement by White Bar means he can warp down onto the low ground, and yeah, Mr. Zealot is going to be chasing around Mr. SCV. I always thought, what I don't get right, Okay, is Zealots. Yes, they've got these energy blade things, but where's, where's the SCV gone? Okay, SCVs have a massive drill. Like, why can't an SCV, which can pick up minerals, which, let's look at it, the minerals are huge. Let's face it, they're absolutely massive. Why can't they just pick up a Zealot, like, grab it with their claw, and then just drill it? That would seem so much more logical. I would, I would make such a ninja SCV, I'm just saying. The Terran army should employ me as a worker, because not only would I do that well, I could kill Zealots. I could definitely, definitely pull that off. But yeah, this game, Nexus coming down, no engineering bay block, the Reaper is on its way down. We also have the natural command center being built, the factory, a little bit, actually a lot earlier than it was in the first game. The first game we saw additional barracks being added on first, as well as a super early plus one. This game though, going straight up to factory, which is always a good laugh. Two Reapers now on their way up into the main base. Going to try and do a good little bit of damage. We've got a Stalker and a Zealot there, but how much damage? Uh, these Reapers going to be able to do? Well, with a Stalker and Mothership Core, it's minimal. Probably actually none. So that's something that clearly the STC is not going to be that happy about. Moving forward, though, what else can we get? Well, we've got the double gateway coming down from Waiwa. So he's teching, he's not really teching up. He's just getting down a couple of additional production facilities. No sign of the robotics bay. So, again, a different build from Waiwa this game. Previously, in game number one, we saw the robotics facility, then the second gate, not this third quite as early. So, a little bit switching around. A star four now on its way. Are we going to see Widow Mines or Hellions out? That's always a good question. Hellions going to be the choice for the SEC this game, whose natural command center is a little bit delayed. So, it's, it hasn't floated down yet, and that's because he's teching up quite nicely, but he does still have it on its way. Nothing that's going to be super terrible, because the first probes are only transferring down now, but it could have been a little bit early. Waiwa is unbeknowing of this, though. He hasn't actually scouted at all. This is the furthest he's seen, and because of that, anything the STC could be doing could catch him off guard, and that's something you've got to be a little bit worried about. An armory coming down, so we're going to be getting Hellbats. Hellbat drops, of course, the bane of many players' existence in the game at the moment, but hopefully... 
well, potentially anyway, we're going to be seeing a little bit of a nerf to those if the balance path patch map has anything to say about it. Blue Flame will be for their extra damage versus light, and from standard they won't do any any de extra, so that means drops won't be quite as effective early game. This Reaper is getting forced back now. We've got a good number of Marines just chilling out here. They're just like, hey, standing around. I like the way they all just kind of sway a bit. It's like they're slightly drunk. Never thought about it that way. But yeah, slightly drunk Marines just chilling about. The Armory is now done. The first Hellbat should get into production shortly. The medevac ready. Is it going to be picking up the marines? Most likely. And then will... Well, Hellions are going to come in the natural. Marines going to be coming into the main. Will Wyvra be able to defend this? We'll have to wait and see for the moment the stalker is coming. What is the stalker going to spot it? It is. Nice little spot of that single medevac there. Really good read. A lot of units moving forward though to try and snipe off these Hellions. Even that stalker not faring too well against quite that many. Is there anything ready to defend in the main base? Yes, some stalkers are now warping in. The photon overcharge has been triggered. White Guard defending this absolutely perfectly for the moment, but Hellbat drops are going to be following up. The drop is also trying to find its way into the natural base. A good number of Marines already coming out. The medevac is going to get sniped down if it's not careful. There it goes. Does get taken out, but look at this. A whole ton more Hellions making their way across, but these Marines are not having too much of a party in the natural base for the time being because there is a lot of gateway units here, and they are all going to get cleaned up, but it's this follow-up with many a Hellion. Actually, six Hellions. Two Hellbats are also going to get dropped. That isn't going to be that fun because, well, if all the units are down the front trying to defend against these Hellions, the Hellbats could deal significant damage and there isn't this watchtower to give the early warning. All the Hellbats, the Hellions rather, pushing it a little bit quickly. Wydwa being baited ever so far forward. He's got to be cautious because if he moves too far out, he's not going to be able to get back in time to defend this. Charge is on its way down. Additional gay rates also in construction for the Protoss player. And look at how far his army is out of position now. This means this Hellbat drop is not going to get cleaned up apart from with warpins. A couple of probes already starting to go down. And oh, they're all running towards the Hellbats. There's the boost. And if the boost gets down on top of these probes, a lot of damage can be done as we're seeing right now. Photon Overcharge will be able to pick off that medevac, but the Hellbats, they've already done a lot of damage. Ten workers killed. The Hellions now doing a nice bit. The Force Fields actually blocking out STC, uh, sorry, Waiwa being able to come and clean up these Hellions. STC is going to be very happy with what's been happening here. He's managed to kill 14 workers this game so far, and is currently sitting 11 workers ahead of his opponent, plus two mules. The next Hellbat drop already on its way across the map. We've got more barracks coming down. Stim has been delayed because of this, but that's not a problem for the STC, as long as he keeps dealing the damage. The Medivac is going to get spotted. It's going to boost back out of there, though. Another Reaper on its way down the right-hand side of the map. Waiwa he is going on the offensive though. He has defended for long enough. He has tried to withstand the Hellbat drops for far too long and is now just going to go and put on a little bit of punishment of his own. But the STC, three additional bunkers coming down. Four bunkers are going to be ridiculously hard to punch through. But Wide Rub, he's got a Dark Shrine on its way and for the moment, the missile turret is not down but it will be plenty done in time by the time he gets over. SCV is getting pulled here, trying to make sure that the bunkers stay up. The Marines and Marauders in the bunkers doing a good amount of damage. The SCVs tanking up a lot of it. The repair is going off very well and Waifwa not actually being too successful as it stands. Hellback drops also occurring in the natural base. More probes are getting killed. 19 workers killed to just two. This is looking very good for the SCC. These Hellbats are going to try and make their way into the main and just that Medivac survives with 7 HP and a couple more probes are going to die here. And as these probes get taken out for just one Medivac, I'd say it's definitely worth it for the SCC. 23 workers killed, 24 are going to go down already with a monumental lead. 52 SCVs to just 33 probes. That's a good spot to be in, but Waiwa is going to be trying to plant on a bit more pain once more. He's got the Dark Shrine nearly finished. It was scouted, though, and there was already the turret there anyway. STC just playing really solid, putting a couple of Widow Mines down the front. Of course, Widow Mines one-shot all gateway units, which is good to know because that can take out quite a chunk of your opponent's army, especially when they're sitting with, like, nine Stalkers. You can take out over 20% of their Stalkers if those two Widow Mines go off on a Stalker each. So I'd say that's pretty pretty effective in terms of D Dealing with a force pushing into, especially in the early and mid game. Concussive shells and Terran armor plus one on its way. But Wide World, this game, different to game number one, already has 1-1 one, one done. And is going to be able to start 2-2 two, two whenever he so feels like, because he's already got that Twilight Council there. So, not in any worry that he's not going to be able to get that down in time. But what I am worried about is just how much stuff the SCC is going to be able to get out with this superior economy. He hasn't yet started that third CC, as far as I'm aware. No, he definitely hasn't. So, that's something that can be on the cards. And Wide World does have his third next up. And that's actually going to level out the incomes. The gas income once Wide 
Edouard takes the fifth and sixth geyser would actually put him in a fairly nice spot. Not something I'd be too concerned about for Wai Wan now because he is starting to fight his way back into this economically, which is exactly what he needs to be doing. But the STC with plus one infantry armor on its way down with combat shield nearly finished is gearing up for a nice little bit of a timing if he so wants to. He can also try and just take that third, but these Hellbat drops are still continuing. Why taking quite a bit of damage. There's the boost from the Medivacs. Gonna just come and drop them straight on top of these probes. More are going down already. 36 probes being killed this game by the Red Terran player. That is just pretty crazy. That is something the Waiwa is not going to be happy about because look at his working on 42 to 53 plus two mules 30 cc on its way down even if you've got a third you can't afford to be throwing away 36 workers the scan goes off kills the dt there and this is the SCC just making his way across. He's got 1-1 one, one, nearly done. That levels out the upgrades. He's got a couple of medevacs. Only three on the field in total because he's been losing them all every time he drops. But still, against only gateway forces plus this one lone Archon, actually Wyvra could have a bit of a tough hold on his hands now. And behind this, still the macroing up is occurring for the Terran player. I did hear a DT swiping there somewhere. I'm sure I heard it. Maybe not. But anyway, here we go. The push coming in. Good force fields by Wyvar. They're stopping quite a lot of the army from retreating. But there's just so much infantry here pushing forward. Trying to deal some good damage. You can see the pylon is going to get taken out. Wyvar in full retreat. Trying to buy himself some more time. Getting the photon overcharge down on this Nexus. More damage is getting done. And it looks like, actually, the SDC is going to be able to punch straight through this. He's still got a lot of infantry remaining. The Archon is still up and dealing some nice damage, but it's getting very low on shields. Is going to get taken out, and still a few infantry do remain. Photon Overcharge, though, being a considerable help to holding off this push. But will it be enough with the reinforcements coming in? It doesn't look like it will be. Why? Well, it's going to lose his third. He's going to lose his remaining units. Can he defend against this? It would take a miracle at this stage. He's at 52 supply, and there goes down the GG. Well played from Waivra, and the STC will take the series 2 and 0. Oh. So thank you very much all for watching, I hope you did enjoy it, and if you did, like the video, leave a cool comment, and of course subscribe. I get new games up daily, so I'll catch each and every one of you tomorrow for yet another new cast. I'm Maddles, thank you very much for watching, and bye for now.